Hello, I'm the Noob21, and welcome to the second part of the homebrew creation tutorial. If you haven't seen my first video already on setting up the environment for homebrew creation, then I recommend you watch that first. In this tutorial, we're going to be going over input from a Wii remote. So basically, if we ha press down A on our control pad, then we can print something out like button A is pressed. So first off we can just go into our homebrew folder and download the zip file that it's in the description and then we can go ahead and unzip that we can delete the zip file and go into our input tutorial open our programmers notepad project and then here we have our project I'm gonna be going a bit more in-depth in this tutorial just because last tutorial was just setting up so if you've never written any C before, then I recommend you just follow closely because this is important. So first at the top of our C program, we have hashtag include and then we have a random file dot H extension. So what this is, is some of these are from DevKit Pro and some of these are just from your computer itself. Basically, these are header files that tell us like certain functions in programming like printf if we didn't have this main header right here then we wouldn't be able to printf and have anything on the screen it would just be like a blank program so that's all you really need to know for includes most of these are gonna fit your needs so you don't need to add any more and then right here we have this part of the program that is basically just intellizing video so it makes the Wii be compatible with our C program and so we can see the interface so you don't need to know too much about this I don't know too much about this so it's just know that this is the video don't delete this you're gonna have need to have this in the program and then we have our Intelize main. This is the main part of our program. This is the special part where we get to write our code most of the time. You usually only have one, but if you like and you get more deep into programming, you're going to have multiple of these with different types and names. But basically, you're just going to need one for now. And then first off, in our int main, we have Intelize. So we're Intelizing the program Intelizing the homebrew channel to recognize our .doll file. And then we are going to printf. This is basically just printing out words on our screen. So right here I have hello world. If I just build this program right now, it would say hello world on our screen. But I can change this to whatever I'd like. I can say hi homebrew. And then it's going to say hi homebrew then you're gonna notice we have a backslash n you might be wondering what this is well basically it just creates a new line after your program if I were to put a backslash n right here then it would separate hi and then a new line homebrew just think of it like when you're writing an essay and you press enter it's gonna start like a new line and then right here we have our, our base controller is going to detect any input we're saying while every one second we're detecting for a w pad scan pads which is basically just anything on our Wii remote it's trying to detect if there's anything on our Wii remote then we're just utilizing that so it's always happening so and then we have u16 buttons down we're just creating a variable right here and then this variable is going to be equal to our DevKit Pro library. This is in our DevKit Pro library, so you can't do this in normal C. But on our Wii remote, we see if there's anything on the Wii pad, and then if there's anything being pressed down. So we have this variable all set up. Now we want to use this variable in an if statement. So buttons down, which is right here, which is equal to W pad buttons down we just said and we have it a button a on our Wii remote which is the a button of course then we have our brackets and inside of our brackets we can put whatever so we have printf button a is pressed and then we have our new line again 
Now, let's say we want to change this to B. Well, it would be the same thing. Button B is pressed, and button B is pressed. So, that's basically it. We can just test our program right now. Press Alt 1, and you can see it's built right here. I'm going to go open it in Dolphin. You can put go on a actual Wii, and it would still work. But you can see we have High Homebrew right here, and then on a new line, when I press the B button, button B is pressed. Every time I do it, you can hear my mouse click. It's being pressed, and then we can see our little text come out. So I'm just going to go and stop this program right here and exit out of Dolphin. Now, what if we want to have the A and B button? Well, that's no problem. We just copy this, go into a different tab, and we have A. Now, of course, you're going to be asking, well, what about the 1 and 2 button? Well, we can definitely do that, too. I'm just going to be doing the 1 button for convenience. But we have 1. Button 1 is pressed. So now we can go ahead and build this. And it's successfully built. So we can open up our program again. Hi, Homebrew. Button A is pressed. Button B is pressed. And button 1 is pressed. You can see I'm alternating between all of the buttons and it's definitely working. So just going to close out again out of this. And now this is just for buttons down. There's some other things that you can do. So right now we only have it utilizing buttons down. But what if we want to have a button being held? It's not going to register button B being pressed every single time. So I'm just going to enter and change this from buttons down to buttons held. Now we can do the same thing. We're, I'm just going to copy this if statement right here, have it under, but instead of buttons down again, we're going to have buttons held. It would be the same thing. And now we can change, instead of having button 1 being pressed, button 1 is held. And so every single time that picks up that we have the one button held, it's going to print this out. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this with the A and B button too. So we have A, A. Copy this again, but just change it to B now. So we can go ahead and build again. Alt 1 like we said in our last video, and test it one last time. So now I'm just holding the A button, and as you can see, every single time there's text moving on the screen. Button B is held, and then at the very top, if I can see, you're going to see right here, button 1 was pressed, and then it's going to be held. And then button B is the same way, and button 1, and everything. So you can see it's clearly working. But we have one last variable that I want to show. Just exit out of Dolphin once more. And But what if we want to have the button being up? Only if it's up, we detect it. So we can change all of this. Button be up. So Instead of having held here, of course, because we already have these functions right here, we're going to have up. So as you can see, we're just changing all of this, and it will work in game. Change this here, and build. Voila, it's right here. You can also run the elf, but people do the doll extension just because it's compressed much more and it's easier to work with. So as you can see, I have the button A being pressed right here and button A being held. And then at the end, we have button A up. So we have all of this. We can alternate between all of them. And then we have all of it. Well, isn't that fun? So, as always, thanks for watching and have a nice day.